If you're new to Elite Dangerous and you're having a problem talking with a space station, then stay tuned because today I'm going to give you a very quick guide of how to do so. Today's video is brought to you by Game Glass. With Game Glass, you can take control of your ship using a tablet or a phone. You can try it out using some of the free pre-made shots, or you can also make your own custom shots and share them with the community through the built-in marketplace. So gone are the days where you have no more room for all your key bindings. On top of that, Game Glass also supports Star Citizen. So follow the link in the video description and try Game Glass for free, and use offer code DTEA to get 5% off any purchase. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Elite Dangerous. We're going to do a new player's guide today. We're going to talk about docking and everything you need to know about that. So if you're new to the game, welcome. First of all, you need to locate the station on which you want to dock. So we're going to head over here and we're going to open up our system map. That's going to give us a map of our current system. All these triangular shapes are player fleet carriers and while you can't dock there, don't stay there for too long. What we're going to be looking for in this specific case is a space station. So we have a space station here called Martin Gateway. I'm going to hold my mouse to select it. And now that it's selected, we can go out of the map and we now need to head towards the station. Look at the little compass down here. You will see there is a hollowed out dot. When it's hollowed out, that means the station is behind me. So I need to flip my ship around and you can see as I flip around, it becomes solid. Once it's solid, it is somewhere in front of me and there we have Martin Gateway. As you are approaching the station, start by going full speed and pay close attention to the time underneath. You can see right now we're about two minutes to uh, to arrival and that's going down rather quickly as we are accelerating. Keep going full speed until this goes down to around seven seconds. Once it reaches seven, you can pull back on your throttle. Notice now that my throttle is in the middle of the blue area. It's about 75% of the full throttle. And by keeping it here in the blue, I'm gonna stay on the perfect glide slope to get into the station without overshooting, without stopping too early. So this is the optimal route, the optimal glide in towards the station. Now you can see over here on the lower left-hand side, you can see distance and speed. Both distance and speed will need to be going down into the blue areas before we can drop out of Super Cruise. But for now, we can see now we're coming into the gravity well of, uh, of the gas giant here, so we can actually throttle up again to power through the, uh, the, um, the gravity well because it went up from the seven seconds. It does say we should slow down right now, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. We need to keep an eye on those seconds, and that's what counts, not necessarily what the ship is telling you. Notice now in the lower right-hand corner how much speed now went down into the blue. As soon as it went into the blue, you can actually, if you want to save yourself a little bit of time, power up to full speed again. And once it, uh, it goes blue, the, your distance is correct. Then you can go and you can hit J to, uh, to drop out of Super Cruise. Once you arrive at the station, depending on what size of station it is, it might either have these mail slot entrances, or if it's a smaller station, it will just have landing pads on the outside. Now, I specifically chose this type of station here because sometimes for newer players, it can be difficult to locate what side that, um, that entrance is on. Now, we can see it right here on the right side of the station, so it's, it's relatively easy here. But if you're ever in doubt, what we have targeted right now is the marker for the station. But if I target the station itself by basically pointing at it and clicking my target button, I get a hologram down here. Notice how on the side of the hologram there are small arrows. And these arrows will point in the direction of where the, um, where the entrance is. So if I'm coming in, let's say I come in here from the side and I'm watching the station uh, something like, uh, like this, and maybe I'm not really sure exactly which side it's on i can always just target the station i can look at the arrows on the hologram and the hologram will tell me where exactly it is you should also be able to see the um, all the signs at the front as well that's also a good indicator now in order to dock you need to make sure that your distance to the station is within seven kilometers your distance is displayed down here in the lower right hand left hand corner sorry and um, when you're within seven and a half kilometers we can jump over here to our left hand panel Go to contacts, the station should be the top, and here we can say request docking. You now see in the lower center of the screen that I got landing pad 43. So now we are just carefully going to maneuver ourselves in through the mail slot. It's often at this point in time, just before I enter the mail slot, that I like to lower my landing gear. There we go. You can see that your landing gear is extended in the lower right hand corner when the blue light is on next to where it says landing gear. So, I also noticed my compass here as I move in. Do you see how that jumped? 
we've cut the, the compass jumps when we go in because it now points to the landing pad. So if you're ever inside a hangar like this and you don't really know exactly where your landing pad is, just go to that compass, point in that direction and you'll be pointing straight at your landing pad. From here on, it's pretty straightforward. Fly in over the landing pad. And once you are hovering above the center line, I overshot it there actually, oops. It's too high, there we go. Once you're hovering over the center, slowly just lower the ship down. And congratulations, you have now docked. So that's all you need to know about docking in Elite Dangerous. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe, like the video if you liked it. And also next time, I'll see you guys in space.